In this video we're going to look at some of the ways you can easily forward your calls to another phone using both the handset and the web portal. Forwarding is an invaluable tool to ensure that you never miss a call and allows you to have one number to reach you anywhere. In order to follow this video you should have logged into your hosted VoIP dashboard. You can access this at unlimitedhorizon.co.uk and log in using the username and password your administrator previously provided. So let's get started. You can quickly forward all of your calls from the web portal dashboard by clicking on the call forwarding button. This button also shows you at a glance your current forwarding status. You can see here that call forwarding is currently inactive. To set up forwarding simply click the button to reveal its options. I'll now enter a number I wish to forward my calls to. Now I'll click the blue activate button. You'll see that the call forwarding button is now updated and shows the number I'm forwarding calls to in yellow. To cancel the forwarding simply tap the button again and click on the blue deactivate button. You'll notice the next time you click the call forwarding button it will remember the last number you specified. This is particularly useful if you find that you are regularly forwarding calls to the same number, for example your mobile phone. If you wish to change the number you're forwarding to click the call forwarding button edit the number and click the yellow update button. The next time you activate call forwarding your calls will be destined to the new number. Next we're going to look at some of the ways that you can forge your calls automatically. From your dashboard click on call setup. Then underneath incoming calls click on call handling. In the call handling control panel you'll see three states, when I'm busy, when I don't answer and when I'm unreachable. Let's start by looking at when I'm busy. This gives us options on how to handle incoming calls when you are already on the phone. By choosing no action your incoming call will receive an engaged tone unless your administrator has enabled call waiting in which case the call would continue to ring until either the caller hangs up or you answer the call. If we choose forward the call to we can specify any number that should receive your incoming calls if you are busy. This can be both an external number such as a mobile phone or an extension within your hosted telephone system, for example that of a colleague within your department. Finally you could choose send the call to voicemail. The options for when I don't answer are the same but with the addition of being able to specify the number of rings until action is taken upon the call. The default is four rings which works very well in most circumstances. The last option of when I'm unreachable is for situations when your phone may not be connected to the network. For example if your phone had been unplugged or you were suffering electricity or an internet outage. Specifying a forwarding number here will ensure that you never miss a call if your phone is offline for any reason. You can also activate and configure call forwarding directly from your telephone handset. On the VVX410 you start by pressing the home button, next select forward. From the forwarding type select screen choose the type of forwarding you require, always, no answer or busy. Enter the number you wish to forward to and select enable. If you select the no answer you can enter the number of rings before your phone forwards the call. To cancel forwarding from the home screen select forward then select disable. You can also press the forward soft key to jump to the forwarding type select screen. You'll notice that a forwarding icon will appear next to the line keys on your phone and a message will alternate with the clock display in the top right hand corner of the screen. If you have activated forwarding from the web control panel you can deactivate it from the handset and vice versa. On the VVX500 handset it's the same process however you, as you can see you simply touch the buttons on the screen. These have been some of the basic ways that calls can be forwarded on the hosted VoIP system. There are other ways that you can forward your incoming calls to other phones including twinning, sequential ringing and by using profiles. We have tutorial videos of all of these available. Take a look and find out how you can take your hosted VoIP telephony to the next level. Thanks for watching our video. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel, like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. You should also check out our website at www.hostedvoiputk.co.uk